Hello, my name is Ruben and I'm from Belgium and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your racing drone faster and more stable by choosing the right propeller. So I have tested these four propellers um, and I'm going to tell you my experience with them. So this is the first propeller that I've tested. This is um, the stock propeller that comes with the Storm Racing Drone. This propeller is really good for beginners because they are really cheap. And But the downside is that they break really easily and they are not so stable in the air because they bend really easily as you can see. And they break really easily. Um, the second propeller is this propeller it's a 5x3 propeller and it's a carbon fiber one so it's a lot more expensive than that propeller um, and it is this size is 5x3 and it's really popular popular for mini quadcopters um, but my experience with them was good but not that great because they don't produce a lot of thrust um, the third propeller is this propeller, this is the propeller that I'm using right now, it's a 6x3 propeller and um, this propeller is really good, um, they produce a lot of thrust and they are stable in the air and this is the perfect size for the Storm Racing Drone, as you can see um, they fit perfectly. The next um, propeller is also a 6x3 propeller, but the blade is a little bit bigger than this one. As you can see, it's a propeller from RC Timer, and um, these are the best propellers that I've tested um, because they produce a lot of thrust. But the downside with this propeller is that you really need to balance these propellers because they produce a lot of vibrations um, when you don't balance them so you need to buy a balancer first if you uh, want to fly with these propellers but after you balance them they fly really really good these are my favorite propellers so it is really important to choose the right propeller for your racing drone because it's going to affect performance and stability of your drone when you fly, especially when you fly fast. I like to have my propellers a little bit bigger, like a 6x3 propeller, but it's up to you what you choose. You can experiment yourself with different sizes of propellers and different pitches of propellers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you. Um, give it a like. And subscribe for more videos because in the next video um, I'm going to talk about the different sizes of batteries that I use so um, happy flying and I will see you in the next video Bye.